This video comes by request of one of the anonymous suggestions that I got when I posted the suggestion box on Georgia View. Um, it's a super important topic, I think, um, and that topic is what jobs can I be looking for when I graduate with my bachelor's degree in psychology? So even though we spend like four, five, or six years uh, training students about different areas of the discipline of psychology, I don't think we do a very good job of showing them what they can do with their degree without having to go get a clinical mental health certification to become a therapist or going to graduate school um, or getting their PhD and becoming a college professor like all of us are. And so um, in this video, what I've done, I've done a little bit of homework, uh, and what I've done is looked at what possible jobs you could step into with your bachelor's degree in hand, or even in some cases right before you get your bachelor's degree. Now some of these, uh, because we live in the 21st century and everything is hyper-governed, some of these have certifications and credentials that you'll need to get, but for the most part, they're offered inside the job once you get it. So you can apply for the job with your bachelor's degree, maybe some relevant work experience, and then you can go get this additional certification that they'll usually pay for. So I picked out three very different job paths, and these are actual jobs that I found on jobs.com in the Atlanta metro area. So I know a lot of students are from uh, Georgia or, or, or metro Atlanta specifically. If, if you're not from the area, that's fine. Let these be examples of what kind of work you could be looking for. I apologize if you can hear my neighbor over here who's, who's in his office. Uh, I can hear him. Maybe, maybe you can. All right, so I have created a little slideshow. So it's Jobs for Psychology Graduates, Bachelors of Science or Bachelor of Arts. So the first one is a senior behavior technician. And so behavior technician, this is working in hospitals, in hospice centers, assisted living centers, youth centers, women's centers. So centers that are devoted to offering, whether it's health care or psychiatric care, uh, to the people who live there. Um, you can step in and do those. Uh, you can offer counseling, you can offer applied behavior analysis, you can work using psychiatric techniques, offering direct care. Um, the specific job that I found was for a hospice center, and so this was um, in the uh, Atlanta area. Um, there are hundreds of hospice centers, and so you can work there as a technician where you come with some knowledge of um, applied behavior analysis. You do not need certification. They offer it there. Um, you can get those certificates, like I said right there, um, and then you can also educate patients for what they can do to improve their health and well-being. You can also educate family members for what they can be doing to help uh, whoever it is in their family uh, who's getting care. So that's one. Um, I've had friends in college who worked at youth centers, youth detention centers, and so in some cases like offering restraint or doing like leading client or group therapy sessions or individual client therapy. And so this isn't being the head therapist on staff, you would be supervised by them until you get that master's degree, maybe, and then you can be the supervisor. Um, but you can offer an awful lot of counseling and therapy, even though you haven't obtained those advanced certifications yet. So youth centers, uh, detention centers, um, possibly prisons or, um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, prisons or jails, I suppose. Um, women's centers, hospice centers, some hospitals, assisted living centers, things like that. So that's one broad area of behavioral technician. So the second one I found was a fundraising director. Now what I was looking for specifically was where you can work with children. And so this is American Heart Association. I don't know if you remember in elementary school when someone would come and put on an assembly. We had jump rope for heart when, when I was in elementary school. But they would give a big presentation and then grades would um, challenge each other or compete with one another to see who could raise the most money. Like You could be the person that puts on that show uh, who meets with and um, trains students and teachers to um, build a, a system for raising uh, lots of money for uh, the American Heart Association and also to meet individual county and uh, school district goals. 
So you would be the one driving to these schools, like this was DeKalb, Fulton, and some other Atlanta counties. Um, uh, you would drive to the schools, you would host uh, these assemblies, you would train everybody. And so this would be specifically for people who are outgoing, I uh, wrote gregarious here, have lots of um, uh, motivation to meet other people. Um, yeah, so you probably won't want to be introverted for this sort of position. Now, um, this is just for a school district, but there's fundraising opportunities in any for-profit corporation or even not-for-profit corporation. They're trying to raise money to support what their goals are. And you can be the person that steps in and organizes those fundraising opportunities, training everybody um, who's going to be part of your team, organizing the team. And so with a bachelor's degree in psychology, you're uniquely prepared to do all of those things. This specific job is working from home, um, so you wouldn't have a local office to report to. Um, you would just be going to the school districts that you're working with. All right, so the third one is Senior Learning Specialist. This is for Georgia's own credit union in Atlanta. But again, it's not the specific job I want you to think about. It's what the job represents, like what else you could possibly be doing. So in human resources departments, there's always going to be new initiatives to train employees at the, the latest state of the art. Um, well-being exercises. Maybe it's meditation. Maybe it's um, journaling. Maybe it's doing a stretch every or for 10 minutes three times a day when you're working on the factory floor. Um, but you would use evidence-based and contemporary science that you've learned here to facilitate learning initiatives, growth initiatives, well-being initiatives as an employer. So this one's specifically for Georgia's own credit union. And so this involves uh, having people um, cold calling, um, and so the specific job, they, they have a lot of employees who do cold calls to try to get new uh, customers. And so you would be training these employees uh, on interpersonal skills, uh, on communication skills. This job specifically looks for people who've already had some experience in retail sales or customer service. And just based on my conversations with students, a lot of you have this experience already. You're working at the grocery store, you're working at the mall, um, you're working in some sort of sales or you're working in the restaurant industry. A lot of you already have this relevant experience with the bachelor's degree in hand as well. You could be the senior learning specialist. So you would be working closely with HR um, in that example. So those are, and that was my research for about 30 minutes, those are three jobs that you could get into with a bachelor's degree that are in the Atlanta metro area. Um, they didn't list salaries, but just based on inflation right now and what they're asking you to do in the job market, which actually is in your benefit right now if you're looking for a job, um, you could probably be looking at between forty-five dollars and $60,000 as a starting rate um, and then looking for 2 to 4% promotions every year um, just to stay consistent with inflation there. So let that be. Um, by the way, that's more than the average ASU student has in debt, which is good. That's what you want to target, a job where you have a salary that's more than your student loan debt. Um, that way, uh, you'll be able to set enough aside to pay off those loans so they're not following you for the rest of your life. So those are three jobs. Hopefully, you can use those as a starting point. Uh, to look at other opportunities that are out there. If you like this video, let me know. I can put more of them together. If you have more specific questions about the kinds of jobs that you could get um, with a bachelor's degree in psychology, um, so specific ones that I can look into a little bit more or answer your questions about that, let me know. I can make more videos, but this was just for that one student, and I imagine there are more of, of you like this um, but who was interested in having a conversation about jobs. So maybe we can devote some time to our next WebEx meeting to talk more about psychology jobs.